Happy Monday all, it's the start of a new week, a brand new month. The football is over and we've got two weeks until the Olympics start. So let's get out of this news hole and into the sweet, sweet sun. Sony to acquire Gaikai and Phil Fish working on two new games. Before E3, the rumour mill was clogged full of notions that Sony were looking to acquire one of the two major cloud gaming services, on Live or Gaikai. Well, today CBG reports that Sony has finally announced that they will acquire the latter for approximately $380 million. The deal was supposedly penned on June 30th. In a statement, Sony CEO Andrew House said, By combining Gaikai's resources, including its technological strengths and engineering talent, with SCE's extensive game platform knowledge, and experience, SCE will provide users with unparalleled cloud entertainment experiences. SCE will deliver a world-class cloud streaming service that allows users to instantly enjoy a broad array of content ranging from immersive core games with rich graphics to casual content anytime, anywhere, on a variety of internet-connected devices. So will this, as rumor has it, mean PS1 and PS2 games will be streaming their way onto a PS3 soon, or are we looking at a more substantial change in how Sony consoles play games? Gaikai's president Dave Perry, the Northern Irish designer behind the likes of Earthworm Jim, MDK and Messiah, pointed at the latter, stating, We expect this will be incredible news for all our partners, as we will be able to unlock AAA console gaming from the cloud with the full support of Sony. With Gaikai's recent deal with Samsung to bring streaming gaming to its smart TVs, are we beginning to peek into the future of gaming? What do you guys and dolls think of streaming video games straight to your TV or console? Let us know in the comments. French-Canadian game developer Philippe Poisson, better known as Phil Fish, had all but disappeared after the release of his long-awaited debut Xbox Live Arcade game, Fez. The mind-bending platformer was well received by critics and gamers alike, as was his part in the game development documentary Indie Game the Movie. Well, Fish fans will be happy to hear that the designer has stated he's working on not one, but two new games. Speaking at the Game Lab Festival in Barcelona, Fish said, I'm working on two games with friends. I started working on one of them during the development of Fez, but I had to leave to focus on finishing Fez. But how does one man who struggled to complete one game split his time between two, you might ask? Well, it's a question Fish has been asking himself too. As he said, It is difficult to decide which game you're going to be dedicated to. It may be something that will occupy many years of your life. We'll probably be waiting a while to play these games, so in the meantime, what did you guys think of Fez? Are you looking forward to more of Phil's work? What's your favourite type of fish? Answers in the comments. That's me for another day, but while you're on here, be sure to check out Cam's new show, The What If Machine, which looks at the science behind games. This week, looking at the science behind Portal. See you next time. We expect this will be incredible news for all our partners, as we will be able with Gaikai's recent deal with Samsung to bring the streaming game With Gaikai's recent deal to uh, With Gaikai's recent deal uh, <laughs> quality stuff quality quality outtake material here <laughs> With Gaikai's recent deal to bleh. Hey YouTube welcome to the bit after the video did you guys watch that Euro 2012 final yesterday? Yeah Hate to be Italian. Uh, if you want to see more of the start select, click on the button over here. Or if you're a winner, like Spain, not Italians, you want to subscribe to all the game spot. Boom. This one over here. Ireland didn't even get out of the group stages. But we did have Spain and Italy in our group, so you know.